Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome to Chasing the Supernatural. I am your host, Josh Bender. Hope everybody's staying warm tonight. We've got a great show for you tonight. I have Justin Brown and Diana Clough from Interface Death. I'm going to go ahead and bring them on the show. We have a lot to talk about this evening. Hello. 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 How are you guys doing this evening? I'm good. Doing wonderful. Awesome. You guys are investigators and... Uh, well, lead investigator Justin Brown and spiritualist Diana Clough from Interface Death. That's an interesting name. I, it's uh, definitely different. You want to tell us a little bit about uh, how you come up with that name? Yeah, sure. I don't know if I, I th- I'm pretty sure I've told Diana the story. It's an interesting story, interesting question. It is original. Um, what you usually get is Paranormal Society of this, that, or the other. Some of that lines, but um, before I, I knew I was going to try to form a group to go out and do this sort of thing, I was into music. I um, ran sound and was a sound tech for a lot of bands. I actually played in a heavy metal band, and I wanted to do a heavy metal project. And one of the names that I liked for the band was Interface Death, and the inspiration for that title was my father just passed away from 2011 and, you know, and then the six month period his father and mother both died right before he died and I lost three family members like boom 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 and so I got a health, you know, healthy dose of death and a good look at it you know and at the end of that you know little experience of death it's just like okay you're going to die it's just like a big slap in the face so you, you get faced with a question, okay, well, if you die, is it over, or, you know, does it, something continue? Is there something worth hanging on to? So I had this idea, you know, how you know how people try to interface or connect with the other side, you know, what's out there beyond death. So I thought it was a cool name for a band, but that project fell through. So once I decided, hey, I'm going to try to do some type of paranormal research project I thought you know the name kind of had an interesting correlation with paranormal research and researching life after death and you know such things so that's pretty much how that got introduced you guys travel quite a bit you have a, a, a pretty large area that you cover it seems like we're extending it every year. This is our third year, so you know we're, we've booked investigations almost clear to Illinois, and we're going starting to go into Kentucky and West Virginia this year. So it, it started with around a 100 mile radius from Southern Ohio. Now it's extending out to about 300 miles. But we we focus on Southern Ohio area. I think you know it could incorporate the nearby states, um, but we try not to spread thin. We try to really dig into places around we go to certain places again and again you know and to further research try to replicate or try to find reasons why you know, you know why is it happening at this certain time and why not but we try to do our best to extend our reach as far as the research goes you know, we now don't pretend to be paranormal experts we don't pretend to be scientists i mean it is a more of a hobby and an interest you know, I, but there is a passion behind it. There is a, a very sincere and legitimate interest as far as it being personal, as far as it being, you know, some type of research involved because we do involve science, you know, scientific methods and ideals. And we do involve, you know, the spirit aspect of it. You know, some people have beliefs, some people just want to see it go. Some, and then you have a lot of people out there just want to have a thrill, but we're not those people. We like to have fun. But we don't, you know, we're not one of those people that say, oh, we're an expert, you know, and this, that, and other. We're just people like anybody trying to figure out what's going on, you know, more or less. Mm-hmm. No, that's good. I, that, that's why, like, that's what I, I did find out that whenever I was watching your, your videos and stuff, I, I picked up on picked up on that really quick. And and um, you also have another YouTube series, Science versus Spirit. Right. And uh, I did watch the uh, the intro on that, and uh, it looks pretty interesting. I'm I'm going to keep watching your videos for sure. You know, I watched a vlog uh, that you had posted, and I, I can't remember the date, but there was a something that stuck out whenever whenever you were talking about it. And 
you know, I like how you said that, that you're always willing to learn and that you're, you don't claim to be an expert, like you just said. Right. And you're open to any kind of feedback. And you, you say that at the end of a lot of your videos. You know, give me some feedback, whether it's, you know, uh, you know, something that you know people don't don't think is right, or or they're agreeing with you. It doesn't matter. You 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 accept that feedback, and and you know that that's how you progress in the field. Getting feedback right. from different people and, and and coming up with your own ideas, and and it's it's research. So you're trying different experiments. Um, right. You also don't uh, present your EVPs and video clips as evidence. You show them to people, and you know, so they can form their own opinion, and you call them experiences instead of evidence or uh, or proof, and uh, I like that too. You, and that's you're not sometimes saying, that's hard to kind of convey, and that's why I might sound like a broken record, but you know, you know, they'd be like, well, it's not evidence, but you know, you might get tricked into saying that because we watch the TV shows and we watch, you know, um, the crime dramas, you know, and we're all you're kind of like you're tricked into saying, oh, this is my evidence. You know, but you know, at the end of the day, you're just kind of like, okay, this is more of an experience, like you said. It's more of like, okay, this is what we recorded. What do you 